In this video, we will be looking at um, how to create a paired uh, inference testing, either whether it's a hypothesis test or a confidence interval. So the first thing we're going to do is read in our data set. I have the data set di diet that I read in here. So my di data set diet is read in here. If I look at the diet in the frame over here in the environment frame, I can see that I've got um, a person, their before weight, and their after weight. So this person's before weight does in fact affect their after weight and so forth all the way down the line. So this is actually a paired test. Now the way you run a paired test is you actually don't really care about what their weights before and after were. What you care about is the difference between these. And you want to know if that difference is in this case more than zero, um, more than zero, because that would mean that they weighed more before than after. If we found this difference. So what we need to do in this is we need to mutate. We need to create a new data set. So we're going to create a new data set. We'll call it something like difference. Um, and you can call it anything you want. Um, some new data set. And that new data set is um, where we're going to, and if you hit enter after this, it'll just put a plus sign here. That just means it's continuing that line. And we want to use diet. So we want to use that data set diet. So I'll pipe the data set diet to the next line. Again, that plus sign says we're still using this information. And I want to mutate. And mutate just means I'm going to change this data set into something a little bit different. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new variable. So we're going to call it again. I'll call it diff because something, I don't know what else to call it. So I'm going to call it diff. Um, and diff is going to equal before, the variable before minus the variable after. So what will happen is it will create a new variable. It's going to create a new data set, which I call difference. It's going to create, in that new data set, it's going to create a new variable called diff, which is before minus after. If I now hit enter, you can see nothing looks like it happened, but really it did. It created this new variable over here in my environment frame. If I click on that, I will now see I have a new data set, which has all the information I had before, but it now has this column called difference or diff. So this is what we actually want to run the hypothesis test on. So we're going to do a t.test. Um, we want to base it off that variable diff. And then we're going to use the data set, date, um, the data set difference. And the alternative in this case, because we wanted to have before more than after, we wanted to say they lost weight. So before should be greater than after's weight. Um, then you would actually do your alternative would be greater. And then you just hit enter. And it now runs the t-test for you. So t equals, and all this information says my p-value. And it does tell me that um, I did a one sample t-test, which is really what we're doing is a one sample t-test on this difference column. Um, we want to know if the alternative hypothesis was that the true mean is greater than zero. In other words, the mean of this difference column was more than zero, which meant you lost weight. Um, if it was less than zero, you would, you would gain weight in this case, looking at the way the data works. Um, if you want to create a, a um, and by the way, it does give you gives you a confidence interval, but it's not the right confidence interval. So we're going to go ahead and do the one we want. And it does give you the mean of your difference, which is 21.5, which means on average, people lost 21.5 pounds on this diet. Um, if we want to do a confidence interval, again, it is t.test. It is tilde that difference. Your data is still difference. And then um, instead of alternative, because there's no alternative here, we might want to do a confidence level. So conf.level. And maybe we'll put it in as 0.95. That's actually a default. So if you don't put the conf.level in, um, it'll automatically do a 0.95. But if you wanted something different, um, then you could type that in here. And now I hit enter. Again, it still does a t-test. It still runs and gives you a p-value, but that's not what we're interested in. Notice this time it is still a one sample t-test it's running. It tells me my alternative hypothesis is that it's not zero, which just means we want to know is there a difference. 
Again, that's not what we're interested in in this case because we want to just run a, a confidence interval. So here the 95% confidence interval is 18.19803 to 24.80197. So we're 95% confident that this interval contains the true mean difference. In other words, your true mean um, weight loss. So you can lose somewhere between 18 to 24 pounds. And that's how you can rate these.